how's it going guys Rich Hilbert here finally back with a video after a long time my exams have not completely ended by the time I'm recording but it will be ended by the time I have uploaded this video yes I know I haven't been any making any videos for a month or two I guess you know this is you might have some questions what is this camera angle Rich Hilbert what are you trying to do yes so if you have if you have been my old subscriber of mine if you know I think you have seen my video called my setup tour yeah so my setup tour was actually a video of my new laptop which I bought I had a shitty laptop of Lenovo Z580 or Z380 so I shipped it to you beside the new gaming laptop which I have now too so I just made a video on that I had some basic gaming for this and all and this is just an updated setup tour because a lot of changed I have shifted the places uh, I, I have shifted cities so that's the reason I'm just making this video Hope you guys all enjoy. If you haven't seen my old video, just because okay, this is my current setup. Hope you guys all enjoy. Here's my setup in actual one frame. <laughs> it's difficult to fit my whole setup in one frame, though. So this keyboard is new, which I actually bought a very few days ago. So that mouse has been there, that headphone has been there, the mouse pad is new and the mic is new. Yeah, so as I was saying, so the uh, keyboard, it is for uh, the keyboard, the mouse, the headphones and the microphone are all from the same company called Cosmic Byte. I wish I had a box to show but the box is not here with me at the current moment. So we're gonna go in depth on each and every parts of my setup eventually. So, first of all, Going to the my brand new RGB keyboard, which is also mechanical, and it is actually oh, which key? Okay, let's freak it up and let's open up that key right there. So, I'm super sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> I have no option. Okay, so here we are. I just got the key cap remover from the top. Yeah, so. This is just a basic keycap remover. So if you just put this bad guy on top of this and he'll just pluck it out for you. There we go. And if you could just keep it like that. Yep. So guys, basically this is an uh, RGB brown switch mechanical keyboard. So people have been very confused about which key to choose this is my first keyboard first mechanical keyboard to be precise so these are brown switches and these are very tactile and less uh, less of a song like very less when compared to blue switches but still more than the red switches if you don't know the difference between the types of switches i will recommend a video on top of my dis uh, description right at the moment if you see that movie video i think you will get a good idea of how the switches are so basically i chose brown uh, thinking that it will be make it will make very less sound, but apparently it makes a lot of noise. But <laughs> the switches are very less. Apparently, the switches uh, switch make very less noise than I actually thought they would. So I have bought, bought them anyway. I have no other option than to use them. So it has come to it. It is seven color RGB mode, so it is now 16 million pure RGB. But still it gets the job done very easily so let me just put them back and just go on overview of the color and rgb of this keyboard so basically as i've seen uh these are this is, this is a whole metallic frame so there is no such thing as plastic here other than this this is plastic but still it makes a very good support for your uh, wrist when you try to do something let me i just open the windows okay so it has all the function keys you want just complete size keyboard and let me just yeah it is just currently on seven color mode it just keeps shifting but let me take to the best modes of it so so this is just a all color mode but when you hit one it changes color so it is just like all color mode but when you tap one it just changes colors so like it's blue red it's green it's blue it's yellow it's pink it's aqua it's baby it's white sorry and moving on to the next color mode it is I'll just uh, normal color shifting mode but I can just speed up its process and it can slow down its process too. it is completely slow now like I also increase the brightness 
this is top tier brightness and it's off so I'm, i just keep it on low mode so it doesn't consume a lot of battery of my laptop uh, so another moving to the another color profile and this is uh main just the whole keyboard just shifts like one single wave other than that this is just one single guy just moves like a mario not mario but still moves like a snake that's funny and this key this effect is called wave effect so when you press one it, the wave goes all around the keyboard just have a look so it's currently on blue i'll keep it on red i don't know how it is blue but let me just kill the lights so i think i've killed enough lights because there's sunlight in the background and the video gets noisy so the, this now looks super dope isn't it i should have done in whole keyboard thing in the dark one so this is like a double wave so when it goes back it rebounds and comes back at the same point yeah it's, it's kind of fun to use it now another you know, profile is just the whole line eliminates where i press it fun stuff the next move, move on to the next color profile just single color you can just change the color by holding function and home key there we go it's all red but currently i'm just keeping it i think okay so this color profile just makes when you press something it makes it makes the color to change it's pretty fun and it, this just eliminates whichever key you press fun stuff and this it may uh, makes the color go away for a second and make it makes it come back seconds there fun fun so it is just randomly popping of colors it's no it's not in a certain order and it's just normal back to the rgb moving on to the mouse so my headphones is just a very old match headphones if you could see it's all damaged but still gets the job done so i'm just gonna keep it aside for the moment and just kind of concentrate on the mouse the mouse comes with a software on my laptop so my in my first video i have already explained all this stuff works so now uh, you could just watch the first video instead and going to the overall mouse pad there's a button on top of the power supply or just income uh, power in of the uh, mouse pad you could just change the colors seven colors and uh, ripple mode here's the breathing mode and he is just a ripple he just changes constantly it's just slow change without any breathing effect yeah uh, uh, there's another version of my headset where the logo eliminates but I didn't got that because it requires a USB port in my, in my laptops USB port are completely filled <laughs> back to the mouse ignore that monster energy can but still I love monster <laughs> okay it's just a simple uh, mic just on and off and some connection to it that's it it also comes in other variant where you can just plug in a USB port here and it just makes up another port space that's it but i don't find it any useful because uh, i ask my all these reports are freaking filled up i had no hope that to do it moving to my setup my setup uh, sorry my laptop my main laptop the main part of everything going here right now is simply my msi laptop it's been two years i guess almost now i think two years will come at may because that's the date I got it and I cannot fix the exposure unfortunately this is sad so my laptop can it has a good screen actually this uh, brightness is a lot and my phone cannot capture it I don't have a proper DSLR to do that but still uh, uh, it has a uh, 8 GB of RAM i7 7th generation and GTX 1050 so yeah, it also supports uh, multiple displays. It can also support M.2 drive. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is not the video for you. It runs Windows 10 and it's currently has HDD. But due to the uh, reason I have HDD, I don't I don't have the uh, capacity to load up games and stuff very fast. And even I don't have a good internet. I just uses all of my phone or some hotspot. So that's it. Uh, uh, I have do a bunch of games which I never show on. Uh, I think I showed on my other video, but still there's a lot. Let's try, to uh, let's try to concentrate. I so have Temptation, Studio 19, Speak, Wonder Shaper, Mora, CC Cleaner, Minecraft, some crafts, and Tencent for PUBG Emulator, Your Truck Simulator, Steam, Steam has um, PUBG and CSGO. 
Rainbow G Light, and Origin, Audacity, Heat Breaker, and Backline both for Minecraft. And finally, this editors that is the Photoshop, Audition, and Adobe Illustrator. And the cube is for making some random EDM noises. <laughs> EDM noises. Okay. This is a keyboard powered by SteelSeries. It's nice keyboard, but it's still membrane. But you don't get this on that. So apparently it is loud. I have never tried to record it. So I soon I will do after my exams properly finish. So hope you guys all like this. Start video.